So here we go, like the video, subscribe to the channel because this is hopefully gonna be a whopper of a cheat day. You know I've been sort of sick the past few weeks and I have actually lost all kinds of gains. You're gonna lose all your fucking gains. <laughs> We actually weighed in this morning. I'm at 75, so that is pretty much like two kilos down. You know, I was averaging like 77 and a half to 78. Well, now we're at 75, like 7.8% body fat, just because there were a good few days where I did actually struggle to get in enough calories. And you know me, I trained through it all. So of course my energy expenditure was still there. So we need to get some calories in. And I wasn't even gonna record today. I was gonna do like a refeed, but why not do a full on cheat day for the YouTubes? I know you love these videos. And the goal of this one is to make it as quick as possible. No. 30 minute long video so let's get straight into it again it's the first day that i really feel my appetite is back i am extremely hungry me so hungry <laughs> calm down me so hungry but yeah, I could have gone to Little's Bakery, but instead we decided to go to Tesco. So we picked up four donuts, different donuts. We have this bad boy, an Oreo donut. Actually, this one isn't different. I've tried that one already. And then we have just a regular sprinkly dinkly do ice donut. And then these two bad boys. Oh my God, what the hell are these? So we have some sort of zebra donut. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. And then at the back, you can see it's got like little chocolate chips. So I think it's going to be chocolate. And then this is like a pretzel donut. Very interesting. I'd say it's just going to be like dough with sugar on top. But nonetheless, Let's bang these out. We're gonna start off with the more basic one. So here we go, the Oreo one. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, look at the cream. You know, you've seen this one before. It's very good. Mm. Oh. I hate being sick and not having an appetite. Finally, I'm hungry. <laughs> Here we go, last bite. Oh my God, that was quick. Mm. Next one. Oh, it's like strawberry icing. Pretty good actually, it was only like 75 cent. Mm. <laughs> And again, actually, the full workout description will be up here. We are still sweaty as hell. We have just finished working out. It is like half one. Yeah, roughly around half one. So that is the first meal of the day. Mm. Oh, baby. Look at that bad boy. It's pretty big when you put it like that. It's like almost the size of my head. No idea what it's going to taste like. Mm. There you go. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Mm. It's just like a doughy, sugary pastry. I mean, you can't really go wrong. It doesn't really taste of much, but you know me and pastries. I love pastries. Mm. <laughs> I lost so many gains on those two weeks of being sick. I can't afford to lose any more weight, guys. I'm shriveling up into a prune. <laughs> Here we go, it's like a little zebra donut. Look at the back, it's got like chocolate chips all around it. No idea, I guess it's gonna taste like chocolate, obviously, but here we go. Mm. Oh. oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God, that is dense. I know it might not look a lot, but that chocolate is super, super dense. And it's just as dense on top. The icing is very thick, but oh yeah. Definitely a new addition to the old donut range. We haven't had one of these on these cheat days before, but yeah, pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Finito. So that is meal numero uno. Again, that did absolutely nothing. Me so hungry. Me still hungry. <laughs> 
So again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. These cheat days are back and I will check in with you. A meal number two. You know what, it's pretty much gonna be straight after that meal. It's only been like 25 minutes, half an hour. We are gonna bang out our cereal kick now. So we have some poverty multigrain hoops, some Cocoa Pops, then some chocolate milk. So we are gonna pop this on and just weigh out a serving to be able to track for tomorrow. Here we go, multigrain hoops first. We will go for, okay, so 100 grams of multigrain hoops. Then for the Cocoa Pops, we will probably go for like another 100 grams. Oh yeah. Beautiful, so another 100 grams of Cocoa Pops. Then we need to get some milk. Beautiful, oh God, there's not much left. So I'll bring it up with some regular milk. Pour in a little bit more. 365 mils of milk. And there you go, family. Comment down below, do you mix and match your cereal? Personally, I love adding like a sort of healthier cereal to a more sort of dirty one. So multigrain hoops, you get in your fiber and then your cocoa gains for your diabetes. Get in my belly! So yes, I am still in my workout gear, but I thought before I have a shower, I am still sort of hungry after that. So I thought this will tick me over nicely until we head off somewhere else for the next meal. And you know my macro capper is normally cereal. So we are banging out our cereal kick now, which means I have a surprise for you later on. So stay tuned for that. But here we go, I'll give you a taste test and then we will get going, have a shower and go somewhere else. So, mm. Jesus. So good. So yeah, that is a meal that's gonna take me over until meal number three again. I need to have a shower, might get a little bit of work done, and then check in with you at meal number three. Which is either gonna be KFC or a Mackey D's. We definitely need to take a switch from the old sweet stuff and go to savory, but which one we choose is gonna be a surprise, but you're gonna find out in three, two, one. And we did decide to go for a bit of Mackey Days. <laughs> but yeah, just a little bit of a snack to tick me over until the next meal. Again, the theme of this video is just to go for a large variety of foods that I've been sort of wanting to eat that I've been missing out on the past few weeks because of being sick. So I thought, why not go for a bit of Mackey Days? I could have gone for KFC, but we went for a medium fries. Can you see them? The potatoes, the McDonald's potatoes. I think we have ascertained that Burger King has by far the best chips, but they do lack in the size. So these are sort of a nice compromise. And then for the meat, we went for a little bit of a double cheeseburger. Let's open up this bad boy for you. Woo! There's the cheese, my family. We oh my God, that looks absolutely shit, but it does sort of taste okay. And it's been forever since I've had a burger. So here we go, double cheeseburger. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Man, I've literally been craving all of these foods. Not massive cravings, but you know me, I do like to do these cheat day videos for me and for you, and sort of missing out on them for a while has been a little bit upsetting. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we have a bit of a pickle action. <laughs> Comment down below, are you a pickle fan? or not. Personally, I don't mind them. Again, I've told you. When I was young, I was like, Mom, please pick off the pickles. But now I'm all about that health life. So I'm like, pickles equals micronutrients. And I need micronutrients for overall health. <laughs> not saying that a double cheeseburger is healthy, but you know what the fuck I mean, guys. Mm. And today's workout was a fantastic one. We trained back and these days I adopt a very minimalistic training approach. So I did half an hour of pull-ups and half an hour of rows. Great success. Great success. Oh shit. We need to get some fries with this. Otherwise I'll just be left with some fries. So here we go. They're not actually as cooked. They almost look a little bit undercooked, but here we go, let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh. Okay. They're good, I can confirm. Mm. 337 calories for this. Not too bad, I guess. Man, I'm hungry today. Super hungry. Bit of burger action. Mm. 
I'll save that last bit for a bit of a burger fry sandwich. You know I like doing that, so let's finish these off. Woo! Mm. Jesus Christ, guys. My fingers are super greasy. <laughs> That's one thing about chips or any fast food. You just feel greasy afterwards. It tastes good, but afterwards you just sort of feel greasy. And I know tomorrow, even when I sweat, I can almost taste like cheeseburger within my sweat. But nonetheless, we are still topping up muscle glycogen, getting ready for tomorrow. Mm. Oh. Okay, so they are down to the last bite. Now, you know what we do? We get the remainder of the fries we open up the burger. Woo! Okay, the burger didn't really open up there, but nonetheless, here we go. Burger fry orgy in tre, due uno. Man, <clears throat> I'm so sexy at the moment. <laughs> oh. But yeah, nonetheless, that is McDonald's banged out the way. And yes, we did bring back the old liquido with us because I knew that was going to be a salty one. <sighs> Keeping it a little bit PG here. I know there's a few of you subscribers out there who are like, Scott, I stop watching when you do those massive burps. So I'm going to try to calm down and keep this more like a little bit of a family channel with the odd little bit of a YOLO. <laughs> so let me know if you like these solid videos. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all at meal numero quattro. I think I know what I'm going to have. We might go for something sweet. If there's something I've learned from doing these cheat days is that we have to go sweet, savory, sweet, savory to keep the old palate satisfied. So nonetheless, I will check in with you at meal numero quattro. Which I was sort of hoping to have right now, but I just realized I'm missing one key ingredient. So you know what that means? It means running down to Little and playing the Little game. So as far as I'm aware, the last video I did it was in my full day of eating Nutella. We got three minutes and 20 seconds so here we go we need to beat that in three two one we smashed all the, we smashed that out the park we were at little two minutes and 34 seconds that is the new record can you tell I took my pre-workout today but nonetheless let's go in and pick something up and check in with you at meal numero quattro which you may or may not have guessed, but yes, we are going for the staple Nutella combo. And I'll put a bit of B-roll on the screen. So there was actually only one baguette. I was planning on having two baguettes, but it sort of worked out for good because they did have these new white scones. I don't know what's so new about them, but I can't believe I haven't tried the Nutella combo on these scones yet. So what we picked up was two of the scones and one of the baguettes. And this here you can see is actually the fresh tub of Nutella, my leftover one from my full day of only eating Nutella because I'm not about wasting my calories on Nutella on my regular days of eating. So what we're gonna do is just smother as much Nutella as possible on top of these. And there you go, family. Oh my God, these look unreal. So the baguette fully smothered with Nutella. And then you have these two little scones. They almost resemble like huge macaroons with chocolate inside. I can't believe I haven't tried this combo yet. So that is a plan of action. I was wondering, it is currently quarter to seven, but we are about to put these in the microwave for like one minute just to heat them up. And there you go, fam. Oh, baby, if you had smell of vision you would be smelling some very juicy shit. Holy shit, these smell amazing. And heating them up is the game changer. So, oh, they're sliding off. Squones! <laughs> sliding all around the place. You can see all the Nutella is melted and the baguette is nice and soft. In terms of how much Nutella, we used about 200 grams. I think it was like 196 or something. So again, that'll all be tracked for tomorrow. So you know, of course, that I like the Nutella baguette. So what we're gonna do is give you a taste test of of these, oh baby. And then I do have my work, my client phone this time. So what I'm gonna do is I have a few messages from clients to get back to. So we are gonna bang this out the way like Ch -ch -ch and do a bit of a time lapse. Again, you know my coaching services are now full time, fully open. So if you wanna work with me, again, my packages and the content you get and the support is extremely comprehensive. I cannot explain it. Well, if you're a client, you know. But yeah, if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, then just send me an email, building muscle, losing fat, whatever it is, and I can forward you on all of the details as what the packages contain. So here we go. Let's get in to this bad boy. Oh, baby. Mm. Oh. The Nutella is warm. Oh, the good. <laughs> oh, stupid. <laughs> oh, 
my god. Holy moly! Why have I not tried that combo before? I think this is gonna be the staple. Oh my god, it's dripping, dripping everywhere. Mm. I think this is gonna be a staple combo. We are gonna go for the scones. Ooh, they even have fruit scones sometimes. I might pick up a fruit scone and try implement this combo in that. But yeah, here we go. We're gonna bang this out of the way like shh. So time lapse coming in. Three, two, uno. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're on our last piece. Holy shit, guys. The Nutella when it's warm is 10 times better than regular Nutella. Trust me, try the combo, you will never regret it. <laughs> so here we go, last bite. Mm. Finito. <clears throat> Woo, I nearly choked on my Nutella. <laughs> so that's meal four, bang out the way. Again, hunger wise, now I am full. Okay, I am not sickly full, but I am definitely satisfied. So I'm probably gonna leave it a solid, maybe two and a half, three hours, get a bit of work done, and then check back in with you at meal number five. I do already know what it is, and you're gonna like it, and it is an absolute bomba. Again, if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in that fifth meal. Which is gonna be this bad boy. Ooh, baby, this is gonna be an absolute bomb. You can see per quarter of a pizza, 436 calories. So nearly 1,800 calories in the whole pizza. It is a stuffed crust. I have never had a stuffed crust pizza before. And then it's like a quattro formaggio, or just a loaded cheese. Every single cheese you can think of shoved on a pizza. So it's coming up to nine o'clock, probably take about 20 minutes to cook. So I'll be eating at like half nine or whatever. And you know the deal when you're a YouTuber in that transitions do everything for you. But oh my god, finally we've found a pizza that doesn't skimp on the cheese. I can't even see the base. There's so much cheese on it. But anyway, we have preheated the oven, so the final thing to do is to cook it, serve it on a nice dish, and of course, slice it. But oh my god, guys, this has just puffed up. Look at that crust, and it is full of like tomato sauce or whatever it was. Oh my god, this is gonna be extremely dense, and you know what? We are gonna bang this one out the way in the old hermit room, my bedroom or my office, aka the dirtiest room in the house, but I have a ton of work to do. So to make this day both a productive one on my side and also to provide you an entertaining video, this is gonna take forever to eat, so I thought why not bring it upstairs and actually get a good chunk of work done while I eat on this. But nonetheless, we are still gonna give you a whopper taste test because this looks very good. And I actually came from Super Value yesterday, we stopped off after work, it was only like four euro, and I asked one of the floor staff to give me the highest calorie pizza and this is what he gave me. So I want to pick a slice that is fully filled with tomato sauce. So that one there is pumped with tomato sauce to get the full stuffed crust experience. So here we go. Mm. Okay. As a pizza, it's a good pizza. Mm. Woo! There we go, baby. <laughs> oh. My God. Let's just eat the crust of this one to see what it's like. That one is just as full as the other one. Oh, oh my days. That is unreal, guys. So that is gonna be the pizza while we get working. And I will check in with you. I don't know whether I'm gonna have two meals or one meal, but you will find out in three, two, one. So here we go, voiceover attempt number one. Let's see if I can bang this out first time. But we did get a bit of coaching work done while I was eating that pizza. If you... Hey, I messed up. Again, if you want to sign up for coaching, just send me an email. But you're probably asking me, Scott, if you had already had your cereal, what was your macro cropper going to be? Well, in Tesco's, there were these beautiful little cookies that caught my eye. You know, the Belgian white chocolate ones. I've had those before, but beside them was like a row of Maltesers, M&Ms, and Cadbury's Dairy Milk uh, cookies. So we picked up these cookies to go alongside what is my usual uh, Breyers macro cropper. But they were very dense and calories if you look at the back of the pack it was literally like each one had like 200 calories or something like that yeah so 800 calories for the whole lot but the game changer much like the nutella was heating them up just a little bit for like 45 seconds and then whipping out that brayers and then what i did was just pretty much 
I shove all of the cookies on top of the brayers as I ate it and it was a pretty good experience I can say that so it is two o'clock in the morning I had a coffee a while ago I really do need to go to bed so please like the video subscribe to the channel and let's check back in with you tomorrow morning and that is a wrap my family but it is the next day and I can confirm I have literally had one of the best workouts I've had for like five six weeks now the pump was so juicy but yeah touch wood even though this is fucking plastic <laughs> Fingers crossed I don't get sick again because we are officially back with these cheat days with the food challenges So let's wrap up this video. You know the deal macros and weigh in so firstly is the calories We were just under 8,000 I think we did pretty well considering this is my first cheat day after a long time back and then when you go to the macros Oh my god, it was 215 grams of protein 1061 grams of carbohydrates no wonder I had a good workout and 296 grams of fat and you know what if you watched one of my previous videos I told you that I actually edit on my phone as I walk well I did a hella load of walking yesterday and I actually put my overview for the day I think I burned like 5,300 calories yesterday so the surplus wasn't that big but anyway what impact did it have on my body let's go into the weigh-in because fat gains have officially been made you know we were at 75 yesterday well we went all the way up to 76.6 today so 1.6 kilo gain and apparently all of that was just fat because we went up to 8.4% body fat. So yeah, I obviously know that's only acute, but we are still gonna try to work my weight back up to like that 77 to 78 range after that period of sickness. But nonetheless, that is the end of the video. If you liked the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> oh baby. And most importantly, down below, let me know if you like these shorter cheat day style of videos. I'm gonna to try to edit it to be like under 20 minutes because I don't wanna have any huge 30 minute videos to piss you off. So let me know if that is something you want me to continue in the future. Hope you all have a great day and see you all in the next video. Bye.